Chem is part of Synthetic Pages as a database of practical chemical syntheses contributed by the community. In this short video, Peter Scott, Professor of Chemistry at the University of Warwick, tells us about his vision. In terms of the audience for people to, to submit pages to, to, to ChemSpire Synthetic Pages, I think that uh, we, we get articles from, from all, all of those, course, those groupings, but I think that the, the people we think will most benefit from pub publishing articles there will be graduate students and postdocs uh, in, in, uh, in university uh, and also in industry labs. Um, uh, because it's a, it, it, because of the difference between this and a, and a regular publication, the advantages of it. Uh, in terms of the people who read those pages once they're published there, that's anybody who works in, in, in synthetic chemistry and uses synthetic chemistry, not just synthetic chemistry research as such, but people who make stuff because of the research that they do. Uh, not forgetting that the stuff that's in ChemSpider synthetic pages actually works in, in somebody's hands. And if you find that that prep doesn't work, you can comment on it, and you can get information, additional information from uh, from from the um, from the authors of the, of the of the synthetic page in the first place. Okay, uh, five words. Um, so it's uh, community driven. So community. Um, it's fast. It's easy. Um, publication and uh, it's also practical so fast easy practical publication community satisfied yeah yeah that's a good question a lot of people ask that um, often people think that uh, they needs to be a new reaction absolutely not um, uh, m most of the time people are actually reproducing reactions that are in the literature and they're having a tough time doing them and you know, we're really interested in, in, in capturing the experience and the practical knowledge that people gain by reproducing literature reactions so we're very much looking for reactions that have been done before as well and uh, of course they are linked to the original publication um, electronically from, directly from the uh, chem spider synthetic page article and so they can be fully referenced, but we're looking for an individual's practical experience of, of any reaction, and particularly ones that look like ones that other people are going to be reproducing as well. It depends who you are, really. I think uh, if you're, uh, for example, uh, an academic supervisor, then you may want to highlight one of your reactions that you've done um, uh, in the lab, or one of your students is done in the lab, as an example of something neat that you've done, uh, something you want to advertise. It, if you're a graduate student or a postdoc, it's likely that it'll be some reaction that you've taken from the literature and uh, you've had to make some modifications to it, or you've done it efficiently, and, uh, and you want to capture that. Uh, quite a lot of the time, what happens in, in certainly my lab and in many others as well is that people spend a lot of time doing reactions and, uh, and then they, uh, uh, from the literature that is, they, quite, quite a lot of the, the, the working week in the lab is spent, is spent reproducing reactions and they don't always work well um, and uh, we spend a lot of time making them work. And it always seems a shame to me that the, the researchers don't get credit for doing that. And also, really importantly, the work that they've done is lost. And I think it's really important to capture that. The other thing that, that is good for researchers, graduate students, and postdocs, and so on, is of course they can get credit for that work uh, in, in an RSC outlet. And not forgetting that these pages have got a DOI link. And reference from the RSC, so uh, that's something that can be put straight onto uh, a CV. People can link to it directly. There's no subscription. It's freely access, free access uh, article on the uh, on the RSC website. Okay, well, there are quite a lot of differences. First of all, uh, it's, it's it's a description of a, of a single prep of something that somebody's made. It's that personal experience uh, of making that material. Compound, and so uh, it's a single author 
um, piece of work. So the person who did it is the person who's going to be writing it, submitting it. Um, and although, for example, most people have their work organized into groups, so all of the submissions from my group are, 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 are flagged as such that from, from my group at Warwick University. But the author on for that, for that particular synthetic page is that individual graduate student or postdoc. Um, so it's just one uh, prep on the, in the one article. There's no fancy introduction, uh, no conclusions, it's just a solid prep that the, the individual has got experience of making work in, in their hands. And uh, the other thing about it is that it's all electronic, so it's very quick to do. If you've written it up already, actually it's extremely quick to do, you just have to draw the, the, uh, the chemical structure diagram for the for the reaction scheme. And I put the information on how you made it and the author's comments and so on, a little bit of data. And then that gets submitted electronically to uh, ChemSpider Synthetic Pages. And one of the editorial team interacts with that directly and it can be published occasionally in a matter of minutes, uh, but certainly within a couple of days. So there are, there are some similarities with the journal article, but in the sense that it can be referenced, but there are a lot of differences as well. So that's interesting. The, the, in a journal article, often it's written in, in, in very formal language. And of course, ChemSpider synthetic pages articles can be formal as well, but we also like people to add their personal experience, so exactly how to get something done. And we really are looking for that piece of information, all those hints and tips, uh, that which allow you to actually do the, the, the reaction really well. And, uh, and that's information that is, unfortunately, uh, missing from, from a lot of uh, journal articles because of the way that they're written, uh, the economical way that they're written and so on. We're looking for information there. The other thing that you can get in a lot of ChemSpider synthetic based articles is direct access to the spectra. Uh, there are a growing number of uh, uploaded NMR spectra and so on which are associated with each article and you can see the real NMR spectra um, in the article too. And, you've, uh, and authors are free to upload that kind of information and so obviously we actively encourage that. Okay, yeah, uh, so ChemSpider is a massive database of, of chemical structures and with associated data and references and so on. And if you don't use ChemSpider and you're a professional chemist, a synthetic chemist, then uh, you're really missing out on something. Uh, it's a fantastic source of data. Uh, ChemSpider synthetic pages, the synthetic pages part, uh, is, um, has got all of the synthetic recipes in there. And each of the molecules in synthetic pages is linked directly to the ChemSpider database. So uh, when you see the synthetic page, you'll see there are hyperlinks that go straight through to the, um, the ChemSpider database, and that allows you to, 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 to look at other data associated with them as well. And again, when you look at the ChemSpider database, and if you look at the synthetic chemistry part of that, the uh, synthetic pages is, is linked to under there as well. Interestingly, one of the things that we thought about, uh, my colleagues um, were thinking about synthetic pages, uh, uh, Kevin Booker Milburn at, at Bristol and Steve Caddick at UCL, um, we, we thought that journal articles which have got preps in them are essentially dead. It's not possible to modify them and some of them can include mistakes, some of them are just not quite perfect yet and uh, we thought it would be neat to be able to modify them and to improve on them. And, and if you like, a long-term vision might be that every article, every 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 synthetic preparation in, in the in this available uh, in, in this domain, in the publication domain, has a mechanism by which it can be modified in, uh, by, if you like, peer review in, in, in the public domain. And uh, it would be great to see uh, at the RSC articles uh, that contain preps to have associated synthetic pages with them so that users who actually do them can modify them as well. And that would be a fantastic resource, all of that experience and, and all of that, that, that practical output captured uh, to go alongside the original uh, journal article.